All right, what up, though? Welcome back to the channel. It's a crazy offseason for the Detroit Lions already. We've interviewed most of our head coach candidates. We've interviewed quite a few GM candidates. And we have a lot of rumors flying in the rumor mill, man. The most important one for right now, Deshaun Watson to the Detroit Lions. Boy, to be honest, when, remember when I said we need to keep Stafford, we need to do everything we can to keep Stafford? That man right there, Deshaun Watson, is the only way I would be fine with us getting rid of Stafford. Only way. Deshaun Watson, I had a conversation with my friends earlier, around October, November of last year, where I was stating Deshaun Watson is the only other quarterback I would want other than Stafford because I already knew he was going to be gone. I already knew he was leaving. The way they're treating him in, in uh, Houston, and sure enough, that's what's going on. And especially since, like, think about it. Houston is about to hire, they're rumored to be nearing a deal with Adam Gase and Matt Patricia. Adam Gase for the offensive coordinator and Matt Patricia for the defensive coordinator? Yo. <laughs> Houston is screwed. I, I understand why he would request a trade, to be honest. And I believe Deshaun was done dirty. He should have been involved on the GM search, you know what I'm saying? Because he is the star of your franchise. Outside of J.J. Watt, Deshaun Watson's your guy. So why are you not making sure that you're bringing in a GM that's going to fully maximize Deshaun's potential? That's the only thing that should matter. And obviously they haven't done that. They signed this dude to like a six-year mil—I mean, six -year deal. Deshaun's pissed about it. He's had enough, so he's ready to move on. And Detroit Lions were one of the teams in the sweepstakes for Deshaun Watson. I would be happy to have him. One trade I saw was Jeff Okuda, our first-round pick, and a day-two pick for one of these next few years. I, I'm kind of fine with it. I kind of am. <sighs> That's tough. Uh, That's tough. Because the way I'm looking at it is... That would push the Lions even further back in potential in winning anything, you know what I'm saying? Because that would further the time that we need to be cultivating a new defense. But I wouldn't necessarily, like I said, I wouldn't necessarily be mad because it's Deshaun Watson. And I love the guy. He's dope. I believe he is the future for real. He's, all, he's so young. Boy, if we can get him to Detroit, oh, I would love it. But, I mean, I don't know. I love Stafford. The only, re the only way I would be willing to let Stafford go is Deshaun Watson. And Deshaun could definitely do something. But let's just look at our head coaches. Saleh, Saleh, I think, I believe that's how I'm saying his name. I feel like I'm saying it correctly. The defensive coordinator from San Francisco, we have done our interview with him and Lord if you can either make him or be enemy the head coach and Lewis Riddick the GM I'm fine with it uh, you know the Seahawks uh, GM he's already said no that's dead so it's whatever I just really really want Soleil or be enemy please Sheila please I pray you have done your thing to really strike a chord with them and get them here, please. One of them. And Lewis Riddick, please. It's 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 time it's time to nut up or shut up, Detroit. What we gonna do? It's the end of this video. Let's let's see what we got going on and I'm gonna catch y'all later.